Hello my loves and welcome to the first vlog of 2023 and it's a uni prep vlog um, so obviously I start uni in I think under two weeks yikes um, it's getting very real but I just need to sort out my office area because it's all a bit of a chaotic mess because I had started doing some stuff and then put it all there to finish later on and I never did um, so I just need to tidy that up and then once it's all tidied, I need to continue um, finishing inputting all of like the um, dates I need to put in my diary for uni um, and also um, start putting stuff in my Notion um, planner as well. And I also want to um, write down everything about my teammates. I want to write all my teammates when I do and all of the questions um and like where to find all of the um, materials to answer the questions and all that but primarily i want to really concentrate on my first tma because it's due on the 28th of february and i start pretty much my actual module stuff on the 27th 26th or 27th something like that um so actually by how long it is i have one full month to do all my uni stuff but also write this essay thankfully it's not many words but still it's my first one like you know I need to <laughs> understand it and all that so I want to write everything down and all of that but primarily focus on my first TMA maybe do some early reading um before like I start uni just to get my head around it and things like that so this week is sort of that kind of thing. We're just going to tidy up my desk, start writing things down, sort out my notion and just get my TMAs and start TMA prepping. Not like do the work because obviously I haven't started, but, you know, just sort of maybe start tabbing important parts of my thing. Um, you know, it's just so as well as doing my normal uni work and learning, also concentrate on the fact that I have my first TMA in due in like a month of starting and I need to also have all that prep done and that because I don't want I'm not going to leave it to the last minute I don't want to be like right it's due then I'll start it like a week before because it's my first TMA it's my first time doing it I'm sure it's going to take me way longer than a week um so if I have all month to just plan draft redraft and then finally have a good one like by the time everything's all sorted i'll be able to do it hopefully either on a day or a little bit earlier we'll see but yeah so that is the plan for this week so with further ado let's get straight into tidying up the desk first <laughs>
is a measurable Tuesday. It is horrible. It was absolutely pouring down when I was doing the school run. Thankfully we had a lift, but it was disgusting. It's disgusting. I don't know if it's still raining now or whether it's stopped at the minute. No, I think it's not heavy rain, but it's like fine spitting now, but it's rank. It's horrible. It looks miserable and gray and just depressing. It looks depressing. But yeah, it is a Tuesday. It is a brownies day. Back to brownies. And Alice is having a New Year's party, which would be nice. So I had a bit of a longer day um, to do things because obviously I pick her up, get her ready for brownies, and she's at brownies for a bit. So it's another productive day for me. The plan is to carry on doing what I was doing yesterday. Um, so I managed to... Um, this down it's a little bit hot. I managed to um, sort out my um, desk area and then I popped my laptop on because I haven't put it on for a while and unfortunately I had two big updates one of them being a new version of Windows 11 so I pretty much had to go through there and my laptop like restarted about five times so what I wanted to do um, I ended up not doing because it's still restarting so I just um, put extra bits in my diary that I need to do and a little bit on my um, calendar and then I have to pick up Alice. So today's job is to input my stuff on Notion. Um, I'm actually going to input it all in on the week I'm starting uni. Um, so it will be that start date on and that week and then I'll be writing down like from nine till whatever time and put in like what bits I'm going to be doing in those times sort of thing. So I'll be starting that. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it. We'll see. Um, I have never used Notion before, so it's all going to be new to me. So we'll see how long it takes. But if I can start and finish, that'd be brilliant. But if I can just start it, that's my main thing. I need to, um, I've got like a little notepad, um, or notebook, sorry, um, which I've written TMA on it. So I want to write all of my TMA questions like when it's due and then all of the information in it so like um where all the info is that has all the answers blah blah, blah. i want to write them all down in that notepad but then primarily start looking into my first team because that's due um the last day of february and from when i start uni i literally have four weeks to do this team so obviously i want to start getting prep in for that so like it's not a whole oh my goodness sort of thing um, so I want to do that and also I need to edit my other video. Um, hopefully it won't take me as long as editing my New Year's goals video took me. Um, so by the time you see this you'll probably have saw that video. Um, but as you would have saw my channel's been completely revamped. I've got a new name, I've got new um, thumbnails, new graphics, new headers. It's all um, been changed and I had to do it all. Thankfully I managed to find a really good intro and outro that I could just download and credit the person who made it rather than having the awful time of trying to make my intro and outros because I suck at doing them, I hate doing them, they look so bad. So I didn't realise you could do that, so now I know that, I'm quite happy that, you know, I don't have to make them. I've done my film now, which um, I kind of stuck it with the same theme as like my sort of intro and outro so I thought I would have it so it looks the same and like same sort of colour palette so managed to do that but I also used a new um, video editor so I only film on my phone I've got a really good camera um, and it's just a lot cheaper and um, you know if I had loads and loads of subscribes, sub subscribers and stuff and I was being a bit more of a content creator then I would get myself like a proper like um, vlogging camera and stuff like that but at the moment it's just more a hobby sort of thing um so basically i've been filming on my phone and i've been using just a really um basic video editor um which is fine but it's just it hasn't got the best music the best different like there's like just only a handful of fonts and stuff like that um so i actually found a better one that a lot of people were suggesting for like if you're filming on your phone and it's called CapCut. So it's still 
pretty basic but it's in the layout like what you would have when you do the really posh editings and all that so um i had a little play around with like a like dummy video just to make sure i knew where everything was um and like what transitions and stuff so i managed to sort all of that out and then i started editing and um because it's more of a choice more um sort of fonts and just the way you can sort of make the video a little bit better it took me a lot longer to edit um which is fine you know i wasn't really doing anything but i didn't actually finally upload my video to youtube until 11 o'clock at night and i started editing at like well i started actually video editing at like eight nine o'clock i think it was around that time um and like managed to finally upload it to youtube but it took me from like half past three till about seven half seven to finally actually <laughs> do all of the graphics and start the intro and input the music and just change some little bits um so <laughs> yeah it took me forever but finally done it so I'm, i need to upload now my uni video and the one where i talk about uni and what my degree is and stuff like that um so i need to edit that today as well and um, but hopefully it won't be as long because you know all of the graphics and everything's all done now it's just a thumbnail and editing the video itself but it's just a talking one so i don't have to again put um pictures and stuff on there so hopefully it'll be a quicker one um and then just little bits here and there i need to put my calendar up i've been trying to decide where to put my calendar um originally i wanted it where my mirror is um but it meant i would have to put a hook on i didn't have any so it meant i'd have to buy one and it also meant that i was gonna basically put a hole in there like should we ever move out of this house and so then I was like oh I'll put it on my wardrobe but then it meant and then I was just like but I can't I don't really want to pin it because if I pin it I'm gonna to have to keep um pinning it again in different places and making more holes and in the wardrobe and because we rent I can't really afford to make too much of a thing so I was just like I don't really want to sellotape it because then it will take it off the calendar itself like it ripped the paper and also it might rip um the wardrobe so I was like where am I going to put it and bless my daughter who you know is the best at problem solving and everything she's just I think sometimes kids just you know they know it they just sort of see the problem and they can work it out whereas adults sometimes get in such a far forward tie and we just don't use our brain properly i'm just gonna blame it on my age and now i'm just now old and can't think properly but she was like just white tack it mum it will stick and then you know you if you it, and i was just like oh yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put that up because i want it in my eyesight while I'm getting ready because I can't fit it near my um, desk. I haven't got anywhere to put it. So I want it in my line of sight. So, you know, the first thing I do when I get ready and everything is I can see it. I can look and my, my, my teammate is in X amount of days. You know, I need to get cracking all of that and sort of just, you know, just know when things are and not be turning around and completely forget things. And for me, you know, my early line of sight is either doing my makeup or, or going into my wardrobe to get clothes. So we're going to do that first. I'm going to turn my laptop on and then we're going to start doing my um, teammates, just writing that all down because that will be a bit quicker. And then we will start the notion bit and then start editing. Um, but it's just turned 10 o'clock. I had to make my bed in that because, you know, I do not do it first thing in the morning because it's always rushing into school room. So got my coffee. Now it's time just to do what I just said. So let's get to it, really. Well, it's done. I have no idea how long it's going to last. It's already fallen down once. But that's the plan. So that's my wardrobe, I get dressed anyway, so while I do my makeup, while I get ready, it's all written there, so, you know, I can't say I don't know when X, and, X Y and Z is, like, due. Look how beautiful this one is. She had a fur cut yesterday. A proper first, like, full body fur cut. Because the first one she had, it was just a face. You look tiny, don't you? 
he looks so tiny. Yeah. I know. They should. Hey, Sunny and Gaga gone. They gone out shopping. I know. You don't like people leaving, do you? Oh, big yawn. Look at that. Look at her. Oh, baby. She's just so beautiful. She's so soft. Honestly, if you could feel her. She's so soft, aren't you, darling? And she's got spiky whiskers. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I know. Oh, I know, darling. Oh. oh thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, my word. You're just beautiful, aren't you, darling? Okay, we come and sit with me. We come and sit with me and do some work, I think, yeah? since I've actually updated this vlog um, I've just been really busy primarily um, writing um, my team A's in here and also trying to do my notion planner um, my notion planner I'm just it's the first time I've used it I'm using someone's um, template I'm using a, um, she's called redhead academic on YouTube I've used one of her old templates because it, it was the one that um, I really liked of all of the options I sort of saw for other templates um, so I've been like filling it out and putting like my stuff on there. Um, it's taken me forever. Um, I do. I primarily have it on my tablet um, rather than like to do everything mainly. But like now and then look at it on my laptop. Um, but everything I do is just so touch sensitive. And like the things I've deleted, it deletes the whole thing. I'm like I don't want to do that. It's taken me forever to do. I'm losing my um, patience with it. And if I'm going to be totally honest, I'm like, am I going to be using this? I think I am going to trial it, so I'll see what I'm like with it for this year of my studying. Um, but if I don't use it, then it's going to be something I'm like, do you know what, it's not worth it. It's not worth trying to sort it out if I'm not going to use it. But I just wanted to try it out because like a lot of people say they put all their notes in there. So like if they've got written work, they put it um, in there. Or if they've got like resources that they've seen that might work, like help with their essay or something, they put it in there. Um, but I do have, I've got my calendar. And I've also got my diary. My diary is like a day-to-day -day page. Um, so literally I have from eight to five o'clock. Um, so, you know, I can actually like block out what I'm doing in each time sort of thing. So I'm going to try it out, but it's just taken me forever to do this stupid planner. And I'm just like, you know, when you're like, I, I need some time off it. So I've mainly been doing that and this and obviously editing my videos I need to do. But I have managed to just write my first three um, TMAs in here. Um, but it's taken me forever to do because each TMA, there's like so many things. So, um, so some TMAs are like in parts, some are like you have to, 
um, write an essay and two two things of your choice out of like um, these options sort of thing. Um, so I've been basically writing out each question for team A and all of the options. I've written all the guidance and I've written all of like the re relevant materials and stuff. Now in Mr. Deal, you're probably like, well, like why? Why do it instead of printing it out? Because um, my friend actually was the one who suggested to print all your TMAs um, out of like, the questions and that. And like, you know, especially for your first one, depending on when it's due, like start, you know, prep working as, like, as much as you can um, quite early on. And so I was like, okay. And so originally I was going to, but I know for well if I print it out, I'm going to put it in a folder or something and I'm going to forget it's there and then like find it like out of the blue one day. And I just thought, for me, I want to just have, like, I, I had this book mainly to do my to-do list. I was going to do a to-do list for, like, you know, like you do. But I was just like, actually, if it's in here, um, I can't, like, I don't want to rip it out because it'll just mess it all up. But I also know that in some sense, like, I might, if especially if I've only got, like, a short list, like, I've got two or three things to do, and then I do the following days, I might sort of lose my eye and go on to, like, the day before's to-do list. And I, I've got, like, a notepad which is a to-do this notepad. And I was just like, do you know what? I'd rather use that because A, I can rip it out once the day is over. Um, but B, it's just a bit more, you know. So I was like, I've got a spare book. What can I use this on? Because it's not big enough to write my deck sort of thing. Like I like to have the A4 notepad sort of thing. Um, and also like ones where you can rip it out and put it in your folder for like, you know, future stuff. So I ended up putting them all in here. And um, so like I said, I've got all of my free TMAs in. I will a little bit later on do the other three since I have six but for now um I'll just do three I've also written at like the front couple of pages like an like, overview of assessments on my module and um, so like what my what um what is a pass grade um you know what is um what would be classed as a distinction like that sort of thing um how everything's marked um what's so like a 40 to 54 percent of my like overall marks on my assignment is like a bare pass a clear pass is 55 to 69 and then like that like i i want to aim for the good good excellence sort of bit so like good 70 to 84 excellence 85 to 100 i don't think i'm ever going to get 400 marks but i am aiming to do it so it's in either of those two but we'll see um, but yeah, so I've just got some key points like that as overall, and then obviously I've got my TMA one. We obviously had to decorate it a bit, so that takes longer. Um, but I currently want to, this is my last bit of what I want to do, and then I'm signing off this vlog, um, because tomorrow I'm actually going shopping all day, so I won't be doing anything. Um, so I want to actually start putting tabs in my um, module books, um, like the ones with all of, not the reading materials, but the actual module books that we got sent not the ones that we had to buy but I want to tab the sections that are relevant to my TMA but before I do that I need to sort of try and make a decision of where I want to go with my TMA so my first TMA basically I need to answer two of the three options and it's no more than 600 words so it's not a really hard um, TMA it's only like you know 600 words it's not much um, so I have to do two out of three options and the three options is Cleopatra Mary, Mother of Jesus, and Elizabeth the First. Now, originally, it was going to be when I looked through it on on the day my module website was up, or the day after my birthday, I actually did it. Um, originally, when I looked, I was like, right, I'll do Cleopatra and Elizabeth the First because I didn't really want to do about Mary because I just felt like it would be a bit too religious for me, and I'm just, it's not my forte. However, going through the actual questions and everything, like I'm just like. In regards to like where my skills are, I think I might be better with Mary and Elizabeth the first. Like Elizabeth the first, I definitely want to do because I love history and that like that kind of things. And um, I've always been fascinated with certain, like with the royals and you know I know there's like this whole big hoo ha with Harry and Meghan, but I absolutely loved the documentary and like the insight of things and forming my opinion. Um, I will, I do believe it's like a one word is you know you've got one point of view you don't know because the other you know what i mean like to be fair like we can't judge because none of us are royals none of us are in that public limelight so we, i don't think we can judge but i you know i've been quite fascinated with the royals and all of that so i kind of feel like for me elizabeth first is definitely one that i will enjoy and i feel like my skill set can go there and it's something i'm interested in so i'm thinking you know i will like that I'm kind of feeling like maybe Mary, Mother of Jesus, might be my next 
one because of what the question is I think I'll be better off with it that one than Cleopatra because basically I'll read out the question so Cleopatra is look at the image um I'll put it up here actually um which is the 19th century engraving during the first meeting between Cleopatra and Julius Caesar what can this image tell us about Cleopatra's reputation because my first book is all about re reputations and so basically I have to write about what this image shows of Cleopatra's reputation I'm no artist I am I I no like I do not do art museums and all I don't look at, at like images and decipher things like that I, I haven't I've never done it with school or anything like that I it, no so I'm there thinking I don't think I'm going to be good at that because to me looking at this painting and trying to decide what this painting is saying about someone's reputation it's just not gonna work for me I don't think I am more a reading people's perspective or reading things and getting the information from that and forming my opinion on that and what I've got in there rather than trying to decipher what an image is saying so I'm kind of thinking as much as originally I thought that might be an easy one I don't think it's actually going to be an easy one um so Mary Mother of Jesus is read a text below I won't read it um which is an online article by the Catholic News Agency what does this text tell us about Mary's reputation so there is this big thing and then there's also like um like sort of a glossary sort of thing like explaining certain words if you don't know and I just feel like when I've looked at that as much as is a bit more stuff to look at and read I kind of feel like my answer's there in writing I just have to basically back up what it's saying and um like explain like the different aspects so I kind of think it's gonna have to be that one even though I, when it's to do with religion I'm just not I'm just not interested in it I'm not, you know I'm, I'm not religious I have my own beliefs and anyway um and then Elizabeth but first is read this extract again um this is on my module website from Richard Mulcaster the passage of our lady queen Elizabeth through the city of London to Westminster the day before her coronation London 5058 Mulcaster was a teacher and published his pamphlet just a few days after the ceremony what does this tell us about Elizabeth's reputations um I'm just feeling like again this text is going to say what I need to know and what to base my answer on um so like with this I'm not going to show but like I've got all of the guidance here so in the guidance it actually explains what the question's asking what I need to do so like here it says this I have to analyze a text as a historical source which again <clears throat> I'm all right with and it's like and identify keywords and phrases and extract that may illustrate the kind of reputation Richard wanted to create for the queen include brief quotations as evidence but keep in mind of the 600 limit Consider contextual details in this pamphlet. Consider how far the reputation he was building for the Queen in this account of her procession is consistent with or diverges from assets of her, her reputation you have encountered. So, from what I know of Elizabeth I, and then basically has like all my relevant material. So, um, book one, chapter three of Re Reputation and Elizabeth I, and the online book, block one, unit three, section four, the cult of Elizabeth. So, it says there primarily all of, the, all of those like two things has all of the answers I need. If I want to do research elsewhere, I can, but be mindful that I need to stick by the questions. I kind of feel like I'm going to have to go with the two, Link Mary and Elizabeth I. I just think they will be more my forte. Yeah. Obviously, as I, I, I obviously at the moment I haven't started my uni. Like I start in eight days, so it will, it will be a week on this Saturday. So it'll be a week on Saturday. So it's basically next Saturday I start, which is really weird starting uni. I just like, I don't get why it's starting on a Saturday and not like a Monday. But I also know they actually do it on the weekends purely because most people work. Like for me, I'm not working, but obviously it's still going through my schedule as well. Um, but yeah, so it's, I'm, yeah, it's not this Saturday, it's next Saturday. So I just, I want to... I just want to have some preparation I want to sort of just get sort of started because I literally have one month until my TMA is due one full month and that's learning the things I need to learn and do this assignment like literally I I don't have enough time like so I'm a bit like okay so yeah I think I'm gonna do the two that I just said I'm gonna tab it out on the um on what like bits I need and when I actually start and go through my module like I might sort of feel like actually I'm really understanding Cleopatra I want to do about that and I might change my thing um but I think at the minute just without any sort of background my my own knowledge I think I'm better with Mary and Elizabeth first so yeah 
So I'm going to quickly just tap that out and then um, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, and yeah, because I don't want to do anything else and it's pointless me doing anything else because I am um, out all day shopping. So yeah, I'm going to go and do that and then that'll be the end of the vlog. So I probably might not do another chat. Um, so I will say, no, I won't say bye now. I'll just, you know, I think I will show my tabs and then close it off. Yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, let's get onto it and then let's just end this vlog here. <laughs> Okay, so this is my first book, which is Reputations, and I've just put tabs here that belong to the questions for my first TMA. So I've got TMA keys, at the moment I've just done the first three, I will do four, five and six here with designated colours. Here, I'm going to leave that, um, but there's going to be a key, and then I'll have all of my, like, colour coordinator tabs to whatever it is so um, for example I think I'm going to have one that's important information another one that's going to be um, info that will tie in with my um, assignment questions stuff like that so for me dark grey is just the tabs for my first assignment so this is Mary so this lot um, they said is important info and also this, especially this section, is um, very important for my assignment. And then I also have this one, which again they said is another one to pay close attention to. And then here is Elizabeth, so I have to read this. All of this stuff that has Elizabeth, so how many pages? So from page 112 to page 148 and then also I have um Cult of Elizabeth the first I think it's called on the module website that um has all the information for my assignment question as well so so far that's that little bit that's what it looks like and that's it for this vlog um it is 10 past three Alice is at choir at the minute so I have got just under an hour well less than an hour actually to chill so i think i'm just gonna tidy up my desk turn my laptop off and i think i might just read a chapter of my book just to have a chill now just have a chill i think um but yeah that's gonna be the end of this vlog um i hope you enjoyed it it's my first like study-ish sort of vlog so hopefully within time i'll get used to doing it and like doing different angles and yeah but yeah if you have any study tips please leave them in the comments like anything would be really 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 helpful um but i shall probably see you uh, next week when i do like really big prep work before i start on saturday so yeah um look forward to that one and for now i will see you soon bye <laughs>